just suppose you believe in Christianity and it is proved false. What will you lose? But suppose you don't believe in Christianity and the evidence overwhelmingly shows it is true. What will you lose? Everything. You lose eternity. You lose significance. You lose righteousness. You cannot stand in the judgment. That great genius, Pascal, who was the forerunner of the computer, he said, we have to make a decision. No one can demonstrate either view, but if you make a decision that God is, you have everything to win, nothing to lose. If you make a decision God is not, you have everything to lose and nothing to win. That's known as Pascal's wager. There are only three options. Either an eternal nothing, created matter and mind, nobody believes that, or eternal matter, created mind. Mind has 10 to the 15th connections. That's more than all the communication found in the world, in computers or other gadgets. Mind has more than all communications of the world. So that's the second option, eternal matter made brain. How impossible that is, that a little movement in our brains could be a model of the whole universe. No sane person can believe that. The third alternative, the only one a sane person can believe, is that an eternal mind created matter and mind. I recommend that to you, that your whole life may resound with joy and meaning and purpose. Believe in God and all else is yours. Ignore God, you lose everything. God bless you.